Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class four, under two port networks, we are going to deal with ABCD parameters, which are also called as transmission line parameters. So, when a two port network is given like this, we can have V1 is equal to AV2 minus VI2, and I1 is equal to CV2 minus DI2. So, this is the basic matrix which is formed for transmission line parameters where in matrix form you have V1 and I1 that is the input port parameters are taken on left side which is equal to this ABCD which are known as transmission line parameters multiplied with output voltage and output current and you can see here output voltage is measured across the secondary circuit that is 2 2 dash whereas current which is supposed to flow in this direction that is in clockwise direction and V2 gives the direction of current in opposite because it is driving the force on the opposite side. So this I2 is in opposition to I1 that is why it is in minus. So what are the parameters which are going to get that in terms of I2 which is depending upon the primary current I1 and since this is dependency and that is why it is minus over here. So this is what it is known as transmission line parameters or T parameters which, which is given by ABCD. So we have to obtain the transmission line parameters for the network shown in figure 1. You can see a simple T network which is having 1 ohm, 5 ohms and 2 ohms arranged in T fashion. So I can get the values of A and C together when the output port it is open circuited and I can get the values of B and D when the output port is short circuited. So that is how we get the ABCD parameters. So when the output port is open circuited means what this port 2 it is open indicates the current value is equal to 0. So I2 will be equal to 0 because it is open circuit and this 2 ohms becomes dummy in nature because it is open circuit on the other side and this point is connected and though the resistance is assumed to be present, it is not present because it is open circuit on the other side. Whereas V1 it is driving I1 and I1 becomes in series with 5. So this is what we have to understand when the open circuit parameter, when the open circuit is done to the 2 port network. So from these equations of B1 and I1, when I2 is 0, this B and D will go off along with I2 and the remaining term will be V1 equal to AV2 and I1 will be equal to CV2. So with this, I will get the value of A and I will get the value of C. So when this figure 1 is open circuited, this is how the circuit looks like. So it is shown in figure 1A. And the current which is flowing, it is the input current that is I1. And actually, applying Ohm's law or applying KVL to this closed circuit, I am going to get V1 will be equal to 6 I1 because 1 plus 5 is 6 I1. And this is V2 which is measured across 5 ohms. And the series current it is flowing I1 in 5 ohms. So V2 will be equal to 5 I1. So, what is the value of A? A we are supposed to get the value as V1 by V2. So just divide this V1 by V2 and this is done by assuming what? By assuming the output port to be open circuited that is why it is I2 is equal to 0. So simply the value will be 6 by 5. So this is called as reverse voltage gain because the numerator parameter is V1 and denominator parameter is V2. So that is why it is voltage gain and it is 1 by 2 that is why it is reverse voltage gain. So A is called as reverse voltage gain. And what is C? C you can see. C value is I1 by V2. So I1 by V2 when output port is open circuited. So simply from this equation, I am going to get, see here, here you have V2 is equal to 5 I1. I want I1 by V2, so it becomes 1 by 5. So this is current by voltage, then it becomes admittance. So C can also be called as admittance, 
when the output port is open circuited okay the units will be in siemens because the admittance units are in mos so it is called as siemens remember this c condition so this we reading as 1 and 2 now when the output port is short circuited so the same circuit change it to 1 b you can see the output port is shorted when the output is shorted it indicates that the output terminal voltage v2 is zero but current will be flowing into the circuit and this current is completely depend on i1 so when you are going to see in this standard equation of v1 and i1 of uh, transmission line parameters when you are making v2 equal to zero this a and c will go off and i will be left over with v1 equal to minus b i2 and i1 is equal to minus d i2 so as i told you this minus is because the current it is depend on the primary the secondary current is depend on the primary and moreover the flow of i2 it is opposition to flow of i1 that is why this minus sign we are getting over here okay now let us calculate the r equivalent looking from the input side why from the input side because output port is shorted so 5 and 2 they become in parallel and the resultant of this parallel is in series with 1 so that is why here r equivalent will be equal to 5 parallel to 2 plus 1 so this will give you the r equivalent so the parallel combination of 5 and 2 leads to 5 into 2 by 5 plus 2 this is plus 1 so this becomes 10 by 7 plus 1 so in fact r equivalent for figure 1b looking at the input side becomes 17 by 7 ohms so when i am going to take the circuit in a common phrase i will get b1 is equal to r equivalent i1 so 17 by 7 i1 so this is what we are going to get from figure 1b now from the current division rule let us estimate the value of i2 in terms of i1 so i2 is equal to minus i1 that is the current which is flowing in the main circuit and opposite that is why it is minus and the current division rule states that we have to take the we have to obtain the value of current in 2 ohms so for 2 opposite will be 5 divided by the sum of these two resistors that is 5 plus 2 and i am substituting the value of i1 from this equation i1 is equal to 7v1 by 17 so minus as it is 7v1 by 17 times this 5 by 7 so just i have replaced the value of i1 from this equation v1 equal to 17 i1 17 by 7 i1 so just i have replaced the value of i1 over here and just cancelling out this two terms i'll be getting i2 in terms of v1 okay now with this we have to look at this standard equations we have b which will be equal to minus v1 by i2 at output port short circuited whose value will be minus 17 by 5 again neglect this minus by multiplying it with i2 then i'll be having the value of v is equal to 17 by 5 and so this since it is voltage by current the units of b will be ohms because it is called as impedance when output port is short circuited similarly we can get the value of d d is equal to i1 by i2 multiplied to this minus when output port is zero that is output voltage is zero so i'm going to get the value of d which is equal to minus 7 by 5 now this is called as reverse current gain since it's again it doesn't have any units so we are treating this as equation 4 and overall i want to frame the abcd parameters that is transmission line parameters which will be obtained as 6 by 5 17 by 5 1 by 5 7 by 5 you can see i have not selected here minus because i am talk, talking about this b and d minus is being multiplied with the standard equation i2 okay and when you see the answers the same answer as 6 by 5 minus 17 by 5 1 by 5 minus 7 by 5 it indicates that the current is considered in the parameter okay so just check the magnitude you are supposed to get the same value 
Now, if the network is replaced by another passive element that is inductor and capacitor, inductor it is given in Laplace form that is S indicates what? It is 1 Henry, so 1 Henry becomes 1 S, so this has become S and capacitance under Laplace will become as 1 by S, means what? It is 1 Farad, so 1 Farad becomes 1 by S, so capacitance becomes 1 by S, inductor becomes just S. So for this T network, we need to find out transmission line parameters which are given by V1 and I1 and when we, we know that the output port is open circuited I2 becomes 0 then V1 will be equal to AV2 and I1 will be equal to CV2 and this is how the figure changes when it is figure 2 is open circuited and just the series combination of 1 by S plus S will give you the value of V1 in terms of I1 which is equal to V1 equal to 1 by S plus S I1 and I am simplifying this, I am going to get 1 plus S square by S I1 so I am getting the value of V1 in terms of I1 so this we treat as equation 1 and we need to obtain the value of V2 which is nothing but this parameter S multiplied with I1 so V2 is equal to S I1 so with equation 1 and 2 I am going to get the value of A a equal to V1 by V2, just divide 1 by 2, equation 1 by 2, I am going to get the value which is equal to V1 is 1 plus S square by S times I1 and V2 is S I1. So I1 and I1 they get cancelled out. So this simplification leads to S square plus 1 by S square. So that is the value of A. What is A known as? It is the reverse voltage gain. Treating this as equation 3, I am taking the value of I1 by V2 at I2 equal to 0 which gives the value as C which is known as admittance parameter. So this value here you can, you can see from equation 2 I can get I1 by V2 equal to 1 by S. So this I am treating as equation 4. So remember the value of A and remember the value of C. Later while framing the Transmission line parameters will make use of equation 3 and equation 4. Now, what happens when the output port is shorted? So, when the output port is shorted, we have to take the R equivalent of the circuit such that we, have, we can obtain the value of V1 in terms of I1. So, how do we do that? This 1 by S and this S are in parallel because we had made EV2 equivalent to 0. So this parallel combination is in series with 1 by S. So R equivalent will be equivalent to 1 by S parallel to S plus 1 by S. So this 1 by S parallel to S. So when you take the parallel combination of 1 by S to S, we are going to get this 1 by S multiplied with S divided by 1 by S plus S plus 1 by S. So this is the R equivalent. Simplifying this R equivalent, I am going to get 2S square plus 1 divided by S times S square plus 1. Hence, V1 is equal to 2S square plus 1 by S times S square plus 1 I1. So, remember this equation. We have to make use of this equation to get the parameter B and parameter T. How do we do that? So, we know that from the current division rule, I2, that is the current which is flowing in this particular branch, which is equal to the opposite parameter to 1 by s is s. So s divided by sum of these two parameters s plus 1 by s times i1 that is the primary current. And this minus indicates that the flow of current of i2 it is opposition to the flow of primary current i1. So this simplification will give you i2 is equal to minus s square by s square plus 1 i1. So with the help of I2 in terms of I1, I'll get the value of T. Remember that. And just I'm replacing I1 here. So I1 is equivalent to S times S square plus 1 multiplied with V1 whole divided by 2S square plus 1. So this is what we had done here. You can see I've changed this I1 
in terms of v1. With this, I'll remove the like terms. So s square plus one, s square plus one, it goes off. So as I told you, we can get the value of d, which is equal to minus i1 by i2 at the output. Voltage is equal to zero. Whose value will be equal to minus s square plus one by s square. This is equation five. And v you can get v one by i two, and this minus remains as it is. So this two s square plus one goes to the numerator, divided by s multiplied with s square becomes s cube. So this will becomes equation six. So with the help of equation three, equation four, five, and six, I'm going to get the transmission line parameters, which is equal to S square plus one by S square. That is the value of A. That is known as the reverse voltage gain. Then the value of B, which is two S square plus one by S cube, which is known as the impedance parameter B. The minus is multiplied with the output current I two. That is why it is taken into the. It is not taken into the consideration over here. It is assumed to be get multiplied with I two. The minus sign is assumed to be get multiplied with I two, and you have the value of C. C is equal to one by S, and then we got the value of D. D is the reverse current gain, whose value is S square plus one by S square. So this is how we find out the transmission line parameters or ABCD parameters for the given circuit. In later classes, we will see few more examples on ABCD parameters. Not only ABCD parameters, with all the two port Network parameters. We are going to see different different numericals in order to understand the concept in much more better way. So I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends. Subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.